The hard push still on in the top lane, so smart play from World Elite. They're both AD carries are actually pushing here. Gonna be checked. No, not quite. POEL will not go into the dragon. Will get snuck away. They have that extra experience, and it's paid off as Mystic. He finds POEL, and she's very squishy. Yeah, he's Annie. level two right now, and Mystic's just eating him with the damage. But Imp also going onto the support. Which doesn't get a great condemn there, and follows in with the silver bolt straight. POEL now level three for a bit more stats, and Mystic coming in there. The heal use there, but Spirits come up as well. Misses the first Q though, but the exhaust is coming up. Spirit Spirit Flash, Tempest forward, and that's first blood. Now Teleport's moving in as Aluka locks up P.O.L. He's going to go down. TBQ now maybe caught out of position as Mystic jumps in. Spirit gets a ward hop there. Good block of the Q there by Akon, but two kills to World Elite. By pressure, Assassin's mid. Plenty of mid lane. Yeah, Plenty they are going to go in for it. It looks like Wailus actually already got chummed up. Shige going to look for the chase. Does use the ulti TBQ trying to line it up. But actually Wailus going to try and get up. but gets kicked in the face by Spirit. TBQ will get away, but the kill goes to Lee Sin. Max in the tormented soil as Mystic finds PYO face check. They're stung going to come in, but UJ there with the shield. Spirit though arriving in on top of the jungler here, and he will go down. Spirit again, always first to the punch. Early game lead. This dragon looks uncontestable for LG. They will have a ward down, so they should have a timer there. But Shia even zoning out Wayless, and that second dragon goes straight to Spirit. Very overextended. Yeah, I mean, can he outthink Imp here and land that first Q? It's pretty much guaranteed after that, although he does have the flash. Going to move in. A great kick, actually. Gets onto PYL as well, and Imp going to get exhausted and taken out. That was beautiful. Akon sees his former teammate line up a beautiful kick. The double knockup just cancels the teleport, smiles, and says, well... I used to play with that guy. Everywhere he's gone, he's just caused death for his teammates. And she actually going to get dive on that. Now this is Spirit Rush misses the charm. That was UJ. He's down his own. Spirit, of course, is here again. Wayless getting kind of sick of this and goes down as the kick will land on his face. TBQ now maybe going to get chased down. We'll back away as POL's rotated in as well. Any level 6 does have the tip is ready. Flash there as well. But now Mystic's going to come around. The flash gets used. The stun up there. Mystic gets the last kill. Spirit lands the Q and the tip is gets wasted. You will be the third here for World Leader. If they claim it's Spirit posturing aggressively. UJ actually in there as well. Mystic going to do a bit of damage onto TBQ. Not overcuting PYL. Drops the bear down, but she is in the mix as well. TBQ diving in, but Ari's just going deep in the back. Gets condemned into a wall of Spirit. Gets bound and locked up by Akon, who's teleported in. Spirit's now getting stunned. Wayless gets the kill for the shutdown. And everyone low here, but no kills here for what little. Akon does go down. PYL just dodging the flash item blaze. In linear sense, it lets you stay out of Cataclysm Wage. It gives you more movement speed to potentially move out of the soul shackles. Good as then. Movement speed is just very hard to itemize for. Oh, Shia getting low. Does go down to Wayless though. Ignite will clean that kill out and Red Buff actually helping out as well. Shaking up CS after CS. Yeah, I mean, everyone's kind of farming up here, but LGD just feel more proactive on this map. PYL though, going to get kicked back there. The uh, ultimate coming through for Luchin going to get the kill though. That's a nice pick for World Elite. Yeah, man, strong before the teleport can be completed. Yeah, Luka needs to try and maybe teleport right now if he wants it. World Elite, they're going to opt in for a 50-50 potentially. Spirit going to make it work. Does get the fourth dragon and a Luka now coming down. Is actually in the middle of the fight. TBQ fails his flash and now jumps on the Mystic, but goes down just there to Shie, but there's damage is coming in. UJ will go down there, Aluka still moving in as Shie picks up LeBlanc. Imp though is going off in these fights, he doesn't have quite enough health though, does go down, a triple kill there for Ari and Shie did so much work about he wants the Quadra so bad, uses the key for a bit of movement speed, flashes forward, finds the charm, not enough from the Fox fight though and just eats the binding, oh the Q just out of range. And we are back from our quick break there. Didn't last too long, thankfully. Quite a long pause, but we are back into the action. So just to refresh, LGD versus World Elite, the last game here actually was LGD up on World Elite in a strong position, 14 to 4 up kills. And they're going straight in there to go aggressive. PYL gets killed by Shige. Spirit going to dive in onto TBQ. The Q lands in there. Spirit kicks him in the face. And two clean kills for WE. Sparrow though going to melt under the damage. And the fifth dragon coming up, World Elite. They kind of took a break, but they've opened up now. Now UJ going to flash in towards Akon. Shie riding in there. The Morgana, great Zonius to keep Akon alive for just a second longer. But Shie going to claim another kill. This is from Imp on the vein. Yeah, and you know his Imp's great, but Shie now going to dive in onto Wayless. Going so aggressive now. Mystic's going to find him, and UJ, of all people, picks up the kill. I don't Still has his catalyst. Ready to go and Wardley with the Baron are pushing in. Yeah, turret damage, minion pushing. Those second and fourth dragons are actually very, very relevant. They've got them so fast that with the Baron buff, they're breaking the base and then some. Yeah, base real broken now as Wardley going to peel off towards the dragon now. They're going to push towards this turret. They still have a minion wave. She is caught. Yeah, but does Zonny. It's actually the bear drops down, but Spirit taking turret aggro. Aluga going to pop his ulti and run away. TVQ running in. The ulti there for UJ, but Wayless and him doing good damage. Akon moving in. See it though, gets condemned by him. And 
going up, but just gets destroyed by all of Lucian's damage. And World Elite, four for one, and the base continues to crumble. Spirit can continue to tank this turret for a long time. The Jana Shield helps him out in terms of effective health. There's that Baron buff minions. Finally, the minion wave hits them. 30 second death time. Is this going to be the game? Yeah, we might see some Nexus turrets at least go down here. They're going to work on one. They should get the first. Can they get more and close out the game? The end of this game, if it doesn't, that will be a lot shorter than the pause we had to endure. But World Elite going to call it all worth it. Had a bit of a bump in the middle. Looks so strong coming out of this game. And they just win. LGD, another split in today's LPL. World Elite blow them away in four minutes after the pause. Patreon. They come out of the pause, guns blazing, got the picks around the blue.